Right, hello everyone. This is a um, really tricky shot. You can see the pins tucked right over there in the corner. So I've got the Hellfire um, packed. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to switch out to the route. Beautiful feature about this game is that you can just stop, um, like even after your first shot, if you've got the wrong rough iron or whatever packed, or the wrong wedge, you can just stop once you've already taken a shot and switch out uh, for the for the next shot. So I'm. Um, I've got loads of premium balls. I bought loads of premium balls, so I am playing with premium balls. I've not really got many Pro D ones, which are obviously a really good ball. Um, so I'm just using up a couple of these sort of medium level premiums to try and do well in a couple of tournaments. Right. So what I'm doing, um, what something that I've noticed. is you can see that's slightly downhill and something that i have noticed is the bounce so this is something that i'm 100 percent confident about the shape of this bounce if the um <clears throat> if the bounce tends to sort of scoot forwards like that uh, not like that, like that, then that's generally an uphill shot. I know that the um, slope on the green has a lot to do with it, whether it's an uphill or downhill slope on the green. Um, but I firmly believe that downhill shots will show a more pronounced bounce and uphill shots will show a scooting forward type of bounce. So... I believe that this one's slightly downhill because we've got a slight um, sort of uphill bounce, not an uphill bounce, like a um, a sort of large, uh, sort of an, an acute angle, you know, the angle of where it drops in and then bounces back up. It's like an acute angle. And I believe, I firmly believe that that is indicating that this is slightly downhill so i do believe because it's downhill this is going to underplay a little bit you tend to get less wind effect on downhill shots um so i'm lining up i think that this green is going to slope sort of left to right down that way <clears throat> just by looking at it, I know that you can sort of use the ball guide, you know, push forwards and use the ball guide, uh, but I'm not going to do that. So I believe that this is going to underplay. So 4.1 wind. So I'm going to go 4.1 divided by 1.42, which is my root at max. So 2.88. <clears throat> so 2.9. So I'm just going to take off 5% because I do think that it's downhill. So 2.75. So two and three quarter rings. So what I'm going to do is use my little chat bubble as the measuring tool. So I'm going to align the wind arrow up. And what did I say? 2.75. So, um, so that's one ring. Two rings, 2.5, 2.75. That's where I'm going to go. And I hit great again just because um, I'm not really concentrating. And you can see that that really stopped dead. And that indicates that it's downhill i think the line was really good then um just needed a bit less backspin on that one but just my advice and <clears throat> i've not heard many of the top players mentioning that about the about the bounce indicating whether it's downhill or uphill 
Um, I'm not professing to be the best at this game, you know. Um, I know there's many better players than me out there. Um, but it's just something that I have noticed and I firmly believe that the shape of the bounce will indicate whether it's uphill or downhill and therefore overplay or underplay a little bit. Okay, just a little bit of advice, uh, if I uh, if I may. hope it helps someone. 